hi friends you're welcome to my channel all right so in this video we are going to be looking at the topic percentages and there are three things you are supposed to see about percentages which we are going to cover in this video i expect you to stick around to the end of it okay so one is what is percentage two is how to do conversions from fractions and decimals to percentages and percentages back to these two because of course percentages are just forms of fractions all right and then thirdly we are going to see real life examples involving percentages where we see stuff like interest uh, interest rates and all of that so we also see an increase decrease and proportions okay so now when we talk about percentages we are talking about fractions with denominators as 100 all right so we are actually saying a part of 100 that's the meaning of percentage par and then cent okay cent talks about 100 so a part of 100 okay so for instance if we say something like 25 percent it only means 25 out of 100 if we say five percent we are talking about five out of 100 where this refers to the symbol for percent okay so that's just what percent is all about so and then now expressing a number in percent is now referred to as percentages okay so now like i said we are going to be looking at um forms of conversions now remember we said it's a form of fraction so that means we will be looking at how to write percentages in fractions and then uh, vice versa all right and we are going to be doing that quickly with these examples all right the first example here says that we should express the following fractions as uh, sorry the following percentages as fractions all right like i already said that once you see something in percentage for instance i can even use x x percent means x out of 100 that means x over 100 okay so that's exactly what that means so if we look at the first one here 20 percent simply means 20 out of 100 that's 20 over 100 all right so if we are to um reduce this to the lowest term that's going to give us two here is one and two here is five so we have so 20 percent is the same as one fifth all right so the second one we have 75 percent so that's also 75 over 100 the common factor here can be 25 25 into 75 is 3 and 25 into 100 is 4 right and that's your solution and then for the third one we have 33 and half percent okay so when you are giving a mixed number like this uh, to change to fraction always change the number first to a an improper fraction all right this is going to be if we change this to an uh, improper fraction we are going to have 66 plus 1 which is 67 over 2 all right in percent okay so which is going to be the same as 67 all over 2 remember that you are supposed your percentage means over 100 so that 100 will now multiply these two so you will have times 100 which is the same thing as 67 all over 200 and then there is no common factor here so it is also good that will stop here all right so that's just what this is all about so then on to the example two here we are to now change fractions and decimals back to percentage meanwhile recall that you can also be asked to change a percentage to decimal so if that is required for instance let's say that we are told to change let me put that as d here we are told to change 25 percent to decimal so what are you supposed to do that's 25 over 100 that's the simplest thing to do dividing by 100 i have done that under decimals all right so you, you may you may want to see that video i will put it in the description of this one so by the time you divide by 100 that's two zeros so we move the decimal point back two times because of the two zeros and so our answer will be 0.25 cover here with zero 
and that is your solution all right so that's for changing percentages to decimals they are all very easy okay of course you will see that if we return this to fraction or sorry to percentage that we are definitely going to get 25 percent okay all right so solution for example two uh now we go to 2a so we have three over five all right so to change this to percentage all you need to do is to multiply by 100 that's all so i'm going to multiply this by 100 you can put over one if you like and then of course you reduce to lowest term five here is one five here is 20 and three times uh, 20 will give us 60 and then you put your percentage sign and you are done okay so of course if you change this back into fraction you will still get back your three over five okay so the second one we have 0 0.25 so recall what i said multiply by 100 you may choose to change this to fractions if you want but that's not necessary so just multiply by 100 and then of course when you multiply by 100 uh, it, yeah, by numbers in zeros the zero will move your decimal point forward when you divide it moves it backward okay so this is now going to be you move this decimal point two times because you have two zeros here so that's going to be zero two five but then of course remember your decimal point is now in front and then you can remove it because no need then of course this zero here you can as well remove it all right and so you just put your percentage and that is your solution okay so to number to c we have 0 0.325 okay so to change it to percentage that's going to be multiplied by 100 and then you are going to have this will move only two times so our decimal point is here which is going to be 32.5 percent Okay, so that's your solution remember like i said you may want to put this in fraction and so to put this in fraction uh, that's going to be uh, whatever divided by two so you multiply this by two you are going to get 65 i'm correct so that's 65 over two in percent so either this or this they are both the same now the third example here is uh, asking us to express one quantity as a percentage of the other that's another very important part of percentage and which is going to form the basis of the third part that we talked about that's the real life problems because now we are going to be asking you questions like ex express the profit as a percentage of the cost price or as a percentage of the selling price or a discount as a percentage of the exact price you know stuff like that so you are going to be expressing one quantity as a percentage of another quantity so that's why this example is very important so how do you express a quantity or a number as a percentage of another number very simple all you need to do the steps are easy divide the one you want to express as a percentage of the other by the one you want to express it as a percentage of and then multiply by 100 did you get that so our I'll divide 10 naira by 20 naira and then multiply by 100 you can put over one all right so why did i choose to put this here so that you will know that the signs here will naturally cancel out so this is now going to give us so this will cancel away this and then uh, two here is one two into 100 is 50 so we have 50 percent we have 270 in percent as a percent or our percentage of 360 so i can take away the degrees already multiply by 100 over 1 and uh, so this will take away this here i can have my 9 into 36 is 4 and my 9 into 270 is 30 okay for two here is two two here is five two here is one two here is 15 so i have 15 times five and that is 75 percent as my solution okay so i'm going to leave the third one as an exercise let me find the solution of that 
in the comment section so um haven't seen how to express numbers or items as percentage of another now the other part which is very important is how do you take the percentage of a given quantity percent look at this they say 25 percent of hundred dollars 12 and a half percent of 150 kg 23 percent of 50 and so on now the first is to note that your off is multiplication so here for a is simply the same as of course change this to fraction so that's why we had to learn this so you have 25 over 100 change this to multiplication then bring down your hundred dollars and then multiply out okay so you can put this again as over one and that is easy to see hundred here we cancel hundred here so this is also one so what do you get 25 times one dollar uh, will give us 25 dollars and that means the 25 percent of a hundred dollars is 25 dollars okay and then the second one we have 12 and have, so that's going to be remember what i said change this to improper fraction so you are going to have that should be around 25 over 2 but remember the percentage will come down as 100 then multiplied by okay so at this point then we can now start doing our simplification all right so zero can take away this all right, 5 into 10 is 2, and 5 into 15 is 3. Okay, so here we'll have 75 all over 4 in kg. Or we may write this in mixed number form, and that's going to give us... Uh, okay, so we have 18 whole number, 3 over 4, as the value you will get if you change this to mixed number. All right. So this is where we are going to end for this particular video. Now, in the next video, we are going to see real life examples where we will apply the knowledge of percentages in solving math problems. All right. See you in the other video. Bye.